In this video, we'll look at EBSCO Discovery Service, and as in the previous videos, talk about some advantages, limitations, and see EBSCO Discovery Service in action. The advantages include that EBSCO's Discovery Service is built on a very familiar interface. If your organization already offers EBSCO databases to your users, they'll be able to quickly use this new product with little or no assistance. There's also many consortial options available for the EBSCO Discovery Service. Some of the things people may consider limitations include EBSCO's Discovery Service is made up of a combination of databases and metadata. Also, some of the items are in a way federated by this EBSCO host in a grid search. That is because EBSCO is not given permission to add these items directly into their index. So they're off in the sidebar and you turn them on to begin the search and press a button to integrate them in the results. There would be a minor delay for some of your researchers. Also, to use EBSCO, your users have to be authenticated to get the full power of the EBSCO discovery service. Guest searching is limited to a minor part of the features in index. Now let's look at EBSCO Discovery Service Live. This is EBSCO Discovery Service demo account that's set up that Case Western Reserve University has to. I could show you some of the major features using this account. So I'm going to do a simple search as I've done with the other videos and immediately go into the results to show you some of the features. As in the other discovery services, you'll see the facets down the left hand side. There's ability to limit or expand results depending on the type of facet. Two features that are really important for a lot of people is to limit to full text or limit to peer reviewed articles. You can see we have source type, subject, publisher, the publication, language, and content provider. By using the EBSCO Discovery Service, you have the ability to take advantage of all the features that are familiar to EBSCO, such as adding things to folders, which then you can sign, you can sign into your account, add things to folders, and be able to collect things that you'll come back to later. Within each item record, you'll also be able to take advantage of the other features available in EBSCO, such as citing, saving, exporting, and providing a permanent link or use social networks to share the article that you discover.